Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. I'm out and about in my woods here having an evening walk and I thought I would show you this. The French Army Canteen Cup Stove. And this was sent to me by one of my subscribers, George Pastata. And I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much, George, for mailing this to me. Uh, it, was, it was a great gift. Um, he picked it up at his local surplus store and I, I, I was not able to get one at my local one or I've never even, I don't even see him on the internet anymore so uh, let me reset the camera and I'll show you what I've got here okay so many of you might remember my French Army canteen cup set review I did a while back and I had to do with uh, this canteen cup and um, cover that I had here and I will put a link to that right up here okay if you want to, if you haven't seen that and you'd like to see it so here is the stove it was sent to be me by George okay, it's made of aluminum okay um, there is a stamping on it right here let's see if we can get that it says MMT Tornus I think that's how you say that sorry if I mess that up 1987 okay so on the bottom you'll see that there's three little um, stands there stand off the thing from uh, whatever you're setting it on okay and it's has two legs that pop up like this and snap into place okay and it will allows you to set your canteen on top of that canteen cup I mean okay and it is shaped So that you can take your French Army canteen cup and it goes on like this it goes only one way too so it is put it on here it, it, it does not sit down the side of it so you have to flip it around this way and it's nice because it can go right into the bottom of your of your canteen cup canteen pouch okay so I'll get to that in just a minute uh, I have two different pouches here okay so let's get to the these measurements I brought my little tape measure so bear with me I'm trying to measure this on camera so it is about four and four and three quarter inches somewhere around there okay the angle of the camera lens might be wrong but you can it's somewhere around four and three quarter inches by about three and one sixteenth if we measure here just a little higher three and one sixteenth wide that way and it is about with the nub that stands off about inch and seven sixteenths trust me I measured this one before we went on camera okay so pretty neat little thing I've, I've never had one of these I've always wanted it okay uh, so let's talk about the cover here that I have this is the canteen French Army canteen from the review you'll see this canteen cup or canteen pouch okay as you notice here it only has two snaps and it folds over okay this pouch was made to only carry the cup and the canteen together okay it's only it's only tall enough for those two right there if you add the stove to it which adds more thickness you can't snap the snaps anymore okay so this cover was issued for that specific purpose with just the cup and the canteen in mind okay so after George sent this to me I had to go find me another cover I found this one it's camouflage and you notice here it has four snaps so it's made so that if you're carrying just the canteen and the cup, you can snap it there and it will carry it snugly. But if you add the stove to the bottom, you move them up to these other two snaps here and you can carry the whole package together, okay? On the back, it has a place to put your, just like the other one, your belt. And this one actually has the wire to hook to a utility belt or pistol belt 
okay whereas my other one it was it has a spot there for it but it was missing when i bought the canteen okay so uh let's look at this cover there is there is a, a tag in it you can see mafka i'm not sure if i'm saying it right but that looks right uh 1995 so this was the probably probably the manufacturer for the army it is like a a wool like cover so it, it does have quite a bit of insulation in it almost like blanket thickness okay it's not just two thin pieces of material sewn together there is some some insulation there um also there's some symbols here didn't really pay any attention to that till now but it says has temperature of 40 degrees and it has a triangle with an x on it this looks like an iron i don't know what that is a p with a circle around it and this i'm not sure what that is but they all probably stand for characteristics of this bag and what it's designed to do okay and if anybody knows what this white patch is on the bottom of these french army canteen covers let me know this one has it and my original has one too i'm not sure why they did that um maybe as a place to write the soldier's name i'm not sure that's just a guess so um there appears if you look real close there appears to be something under there i'm not sure what that is so strange like it covers up a it looks like almost like a you like a UPC code or something like a scanner code but it's not I, I don't think but anyways let me know if you know what that is so okay so I'm gonna backtrack here just for a second I forgot to mention how tall these uh, wire standoffs are stands when in the when they're in the upright position so if we look, take a look at here and I can get this tape measure right is about an inch and seven sixteenths of distance between the top and where your pot is going to sit on top of here okay and then i know this question is coming so i brought this out with me this is a regular um uh, tran trangia stove okay and it will not fit in there okay so you can slip this underneath like that and sit around the bottom and it is definitely too tall to use with your canteen cup okay but what we're going to do today is use a espit tablet okay so i want to keep this looking better looking okay you know not all tarred up because it's part of my collection i don't mind if it gets discolored a little bit but uh, i'm going to use a piece of aluminum foil in here to help protect the bottom we're going to set it down right here and i'm going to get the canteen cup set up here and we're going to make a little bit of coffee. Got our little espit tablet going there. Probably more than what I need, but that's okay. All right, 
let's let that heat up. Looks like it's heating up pretty good and there's enough gap there for the flame to come around the pot. Looks pretty good. Sorry for the shaking. And as a reminder, when you grab these French Army canteen cups, make sure you got a glove on because they those handles are those handles are aluminum and so they get pretty dang hot. Okay, so we got a good boil going right there. Okay, so let's uh come over here and try to pour it so you can see. Good coffee. If you haven't tried one of these things yet, consider it. It's a good way to make coffee out on the trail. Especially if you're trying to save water because if you make cowboy coffee in your canteen cup then you got to use water to clean out all the grounds or and all that stuff so you can boil more water for your other dehydrated foods but you know if you don't like instant coffee taste <clears throat> you can use this and there's just easy cleanup you just pull this filter out put it in your little trash bag and tote it out of the woods fold this up dry it up put it back in your pack Pretty awesome stuff. So now we're going to, this might ruin it for a lot of you guys, but we're gonna add a little creamer. Oops, I spilled some of my creamer. A little bit of sugar, one packet of sugar. And stir it up here. You like my spoon. <laughs> By the way, this is a U.S. military 1971, uh, what do they call it, Melamite Cafeteria uh, coffee cup. Love this thing. 1971. But you can get them older than that, up to the 50s. <laughs> okay so the um, s bit is burned out so let's see what happened here pull these back up out of the way here let's get this piece of aluminum foil out of here which is expendable look at that didn't even leave a mark so another good thing about having a stove like this that fits on the bottom is, is you know, as you use S-Bit, oops, the leaf stuck to it, it leaves this tar residue on there, and it can ruin your, um, your cover, 
okay some people like just put a piece of aluminum foil over something and pack it or in plastic or something but when you have a stove like this you pack it it covers it so most of it there's still a little bit here on the side right here but I don't think that's that's not even tacky it's not even gonna mess up my cover so there you go so if you uh if you like what you've seen and please click subscribe on my screen and follow me I like to uh you know do all kind of military surplus type reviews like this and um you know I do all other things like camp cooking and and um kayak uh, fishing and things like that so click subscribe for me and if you like this video give me a thumbs up okay and then one other thing I forgot I forgot to see if a USGI canteen cup will fit this so when I get home I will get out my my USGI canteen cup uh, and see if it fits it and I'll put that down here in the bottom of the description the result of that okay sorry I forgot to do that so thanks for watching today and I hope you have a good one.